we can manipulate these equilibrium constant expressions. If we've been told that for this formula, this equation, that k sub c is 100, what would k sub c be for this, which is the reverse reaction? We remember what k sub c is for the one that they're talking about and that that is set to 100. If we go and we talk about the reverse one, then we would be coming up with a different k sub c. I'll call it cr just for fun. And that would mean that the products were A and B and the reactant was C and it has to be squared. Well, this is just this upside down, right? Well, let's turn the 100 upside down. Boom, there it is. So this is how we can do a manipulation. So this reverse one was one over the k sub c that was for the forward direction. Just flip it upside down because you're going backwards. And we can just generally say that k for the forward direction will be one over k in the reverse direction or vice versa, k reverse equals one over k forward. Let's do an actual equation now. Uh, for this one, we have the equation for the synthesis of ammonia from nitrogen and hydrogen gases. And we find that if we have this formula at 300 degrees Celsius, K sub C will be 9.6. Now they want to know what's the value of K sub C for the decomposition. They've switched the order. They, they took it like this, which means I know I'm going to take my, my formula and I'm going to do this with it, right? Because now the reactants and the products have changed places, so they will have to change places in my ratio also. But there's one more twist. This created two ammonias. This is talking about only one ammonia. In fact, if you look, every one of these has been halved. So this coefficient is now three halves instead of three. That's a virtual one, it turns into a one half. So we have that situation. So what would that mean about our numbers? Well, I've gone ahead and I've written down for the original one, where the, what the K sub C is for the forward direction of creating the ammonia. So I have all my proper coefficients up here as exponents and I have my number. What is it I am trying to calculate this time? This is the other one. I'll go ahead and put an R on it for reverse. But it would be products, so that would be n to the half and the hydrogen to the three halves and the only reactant was the ammonia. How does this relate to that? Well, it's flipped upside down, yes. So I'm gonna flip k sub f upside down, right? But it's also, Every one of these numbers is half of what it was. So I took the square root of the whole thing. All right, well, let me just fill in the value of the 9.6. So this would be the square root of 1 over 9.6. And you take your calculator and work on that. And you're going to get a 0.32. Now, the thing that this brings up is the idea that the values of k and how they are calculated in terms of this equation have a relationship to the actual reaction that is a mirror of how you deal with exponents. Because if you will remember, if you had 10 squared and you multiplied it by 10 to the third, you end up just adding the exponents, right? So we have the same sort of rules that are happening here. In one place, we would just be looking at them as being added together. And in another place, we'd be talking about as a multiplying factor sort of thing. So it's a mirror of that sort of behavior, only in this case it's between the constant that we've constructed and the equation that it comes from.